this is Susie with The Five Waiting Wombs, and today I'm going to be talking about male fertility and how weight can affect fertility in males. Now, we've done videos in the past about nutrition and health and eating healthy and how important having a healthy lifestyle and maintaining a healthy body weight is for males and females and what foods affect fertility. But I just want to kind of talk about why it is important in males and... Um, really what happens when you do have excess weight for males um, particularly. So this is kind of an interesting topic because the first time that we went to an infertility specialist, the first infertility doctor we saw told us that losing weight in males might improve fertility. It wasn't like lose weight and you're going to have better fertility. It was like it can't really hurt, it might help, it might not. Um, upon further appointments with different infertility doctors and um, other second opinions, realizing that it really can affect it and it's, it most likely can have be a reason why you're having fertility problems if you, your husband or spouse or boyfriend, whatever, has excess weight. Um, everything I'm reading online is saying that it's more common for women who are overweight to have bigger problems with fertility and it's a bigger issue so that really women are the ones that need to worry about it the most. Um, I read an interesting statistic online. Um, the, I'll post the links of websites below where I got this information, so I don't know how accurate the statistics are, um, but it says a word of warning to women. If you are heavily overweight, you are more than 40% less likely to get pregnant than a woman of normal weight, particularly if you have a body, body mass index of over 30 or more, and you can still suffer from obesity-related infertility, even if you ovulate and have periods. So um, it's definitely important for women, but today I really want to focus more on the male aspect of it and, you know, why it's so important. Um, I read a lot about soda. There was an article, I'll post the link, that talked about different things you can do, like limiting or reducing your alcohol intake, um, different antioxidants and vitamins you can take, you know, how exercise is important, but they did an interesting study about soda saying that soda can affect, Danish researchers found that men who drink a quart of soda or more a day had a 30% lower sperm count than men that do not consume soft drinks, and that those men live unhealthy lifestyles, the ones that were drinking the soda, and that coffee and tea didn't have the same effect. So I'm not really sure if it's the caffeine or what it is with soda, but, you know, again, you're going to read all different things online, so I don't take everything I read as factual. But overall, that weight and, and lifestyle ch choices was important. Um, environmental toxins, poor nutrition, but really weight gain and exercise the main point with why weight affects male fertility, extra weight, especially around the belly, contributes to reduced testosterone production. So I'm going to say that one more time. Extra weight around the belly in males contributes to reduced testosterone production. And testosterone is really important for helping the sperm and making the sperm, and, and men need testosterone um, to have good sperm. and um, yeah, so if you have someone who's extremely overweight, it can, it can, uh, it can affect it, and it's something to to definitely think about. Um, there are drugs and medications out there that can help with this. One drug that we tried was um, Clomid for men. Um, the side effects are different for men as they are for women. Most men don't have any side effects from taking Clomid, but it somehow tricks your body into producing testosterone. So for men, if they have an increased testosterone, it should improve sperm. We were told from our fertility doctor that it would, and this was all after I got pregnant that we did this, but we were told that it would improve um, count and it could improve motility. For my husband, it did not improve either, unfortunately. Um, but you know, Infertility doesn't go away, so that's why I say we did this after I was pregnant. It's still something that we're um, trying to improve his fertility, you know, for the next pregnancy because that problem is still there. Um, also, losing weight can help it too, so working on both. Um, and the funny thing that the fertility doctor told us was that 
it's so funny because if he was to just give my husband straight testosterone, t men taking testosterone, it kills your fertility and it hurts your fertility and it's like permanently damages and does not do good things. But taking Clomid tricks the body to make the, the testosterone and therefore you get the same effect of more testosterone, but you're not actually taking testosterone, you're taking something that tricks it to make it. So I thought that was kind of an interesting point, you know, if anybody's interested. Um, yeah, so weight and fertility, definitely something that everyone should be concerned about, you know, whether you're a man or a woman. Um, woman, you know, if you're getting pregnant, you want to be at a healthy weight, you want to have a healthy pregnancy, you don't want to be extremely underweight or extremely overweight. And you know, apparently the same goes for men as well. I mean, there are lots of things that affect male fertility, including um, getting older. Um, but also weight does have a big, a big role in it. So if you're trying to get pregnant and you're doing everything that you can do, try and encourage your partner to lead a healthier lifestyle. And I would suggest explaining to them that it's what's best for the baby is to have two parents that set a good example of eating healthy and being active and um, that it can also help your fertility on both ends. And if you're struggling with trying to get pregnant and you've been trying for more than a year, um, you know, there's stuff you can do. And um, Sure, there are medications you can take and you can see fertility doctors, but the very first thing you should be doing is making sure that you're both healthy and in good shape. So I hope that kind of clears up some things. The links are below if you want to take a look at them. And um, baby dust to everybody. Have a great week.